morning and welcome. We are delighted to have you all here today. I'm Marcy Seidel, and I'm Executive Director of the Drug Free Action Alliance. Today, we brought in the nation's top experts to give us an overview of the changing marijuana policies across the nation. Legislators, business leaders, law enforcement, community leaders, all came together to learn about what these changes might mean in Ohio. Currently, two groups in Ohio are moving through the process to get marijuana placed on the ballot as medicine. They are, connect they are collecting signatures that are necessary to make this happen, and they could be on the ballot this year, next year, or sometime very soon. This changing policy will impact every part of our society. It will touch every man, woman, child, every community, and whether you use pot or not, you will be affected by the changing policy. After years of study and research on this topic, Drug Reaction Alliance believe it's important as a statewide substance abuse prevention agency to clearly state our position. Drug Free Action Alliance agrees with federal law that marijuana remain a Schedule I drug. It has a high potential for abuse. It currently has no acceptable medical use. It lacks accepted safety for use under medical supervision. And Drug Free Action Alliance sees a future in Ohio where children grow and mature to reach their full potential. And marijuana is the most abused illegal substance among youth, and more youth in treatment for marijuana than any other substance. Drug Free Action Alliance sees a future where Ohio's businesses and workplace thrive and that we reach our full employment capacity. And marijuana and substance abusers in the workplace cost employers somewhere between seven to $25,000 annually in missed work, jobs, incidents, and workers' compensation claims. Drug Reaction Alliance sees a future where streets, roadways, and communities are safe for our families and our children. In Ohio and across the nation, traffic crashes are on the rise where marijuana is a factor. Marijuana is changing the way our society is. We also believe at Drug Free Action Alliance that marijuana, if it is to be considered as medicine, should be subject to the same research and study as any other potential medicine under the standards of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. And legalizing marijuana for medical use should not be a legislative or a voter initiative. We have never voted for antibiotics, cold medications, antihistamines, uh, pain relievers, vaccinations. We've never done that. We have a safe and reliable system in the United States that is the benchmark for the entire world. Several years ago, when it became apparent that the pro-marijuana lobby was masterfully promoting the legal status of marijuana by using the medicine angle, we knew that it was important for the prevention field to research and weigh in on this topic. Drug Free Action Alliance joined the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Prevention Association of Ohio in a thoughtful, in-depth, comprehensive study of marijuana as it might be used as medicine. We came to a very clear decision. The legalization of marijuana should not be a legislative or voter decision. We have issued a position paper stating our stance which is included in the packets today for the media, and it can be found on our website at drugfreeactionalliance.org. We do have a system in place in the United States where the FDA can, we can rely upon how to do this process and to do it effectively. It assures us that the medications that we take and the safety standards are safe, that each dosage and composition are standard, that it warrants possible side effects, and it alerts us to the interactions with other medications and foods and other health conditions. Those three things are so important that we all rely upon on our medication. And as a voter, I can't guarantee anybody that that will happen. Drug Free Action Alliance is a statewide nonprofit whose mission is leading the way to promote wellness through the prevention of substance abuse and its related problems. And that's why, therefore, today, we are committed to educating and promoting and providing citizens with facts and research to help them make informed decisions 
around this extraordinarily important subject that will, if changed, transform our communities and our societies. Today we bring together some, as I said, national experts. I would like to introduce to you Kevin Sabet. Dr. Sabet, in a recent article published in Rolling Stone magazine, was named the number one enemy of marijuana legalization in the United States. 